most people in life are looking at how do I make a life worth living and return with having. When I sit outside on a sunny Sunday, I choose and prefer to sit in the shade. Not only do I have sensitivities to light, I have sensitivities to heat, as do many people these days. You never know the person's health that you're dealing with, but here's one thing we all have to understand, that an individual's health records belong to the individual, not to any other man. When a man decides to interfere with someone's rights to their medications, to their hormones, to anything else in this world, he puts himself at incredible legal and lethal risk. What I mean by that is that a man who interferes with a total stranger's life has just decided that his own life is not worth anything. The bastards of Satan are the black bastards of Satan, meaning they might wear black clothes, but they're not that badass. But what I mean by them is that they have a black heart, and a black heart pirate is someone who steals. And yet, in our television and in our movies, we make these people out to be such superstars, such rock stars, and they're really not. What we know is that a police force and a organization of gamers have been stalking, hating on, harassing, harming a transgender man. As a reporter, I'm providing this information because I find the whole thing beyond offensive because of the abuse and abatement of our laws. You see, privacy of the genitalia that we all own are ours. We don't share those things with anyone at all. We choose carefully our sex partners and our love relationships. And when it's time and when it's appropriate, we unwind, we unfurl, and we share what we have. It's done usually in a soulful or passionate or very visceral physical way. It's rarely done with a fool's game. A fool goes into sex without protecting his body and without protecting his rights or her rights to procreation. You see, when we talk about truth, we're talking about real truth. In my audio cast, I'm always talking about hot topics, real topics, and the abuses of our American continent. Abusers come here from foreign lands, and they want to bring their perversion, their lack of Christianity, and their lack of appropriate thinking to our land. They start to infiltrate social networks. They start to appease people who come from poverty. They start to share with them their crazy-ass version of Muhammad, and they ruin things for you and me.